Hi, I'm Luke from Brower Industries and today I'm going to show you how to install the ozone swim combination unit, either the 1, 2 or 3000 series onto 50mm pipe. Here you can see we've got a pump filter with our return line back to the pool. So today we're going to install the ozone swim unit which consists of four components. Over here you see the ozone swim control unit, we've got the ozone swim salt cell, the injection manifold and our Teflon tubing. So first of all what we want to do is install the control unit onto the wall. So we want a 380mm gap for the mounts on the back of the, um, the unit. So we've measured 380 and I've already pre-drilled a couple of screws onto the wall. The screws come with the unit. So we simply just mount the unit on the wall like so. So that's the control unit mounted. The next step is to install our salt cell. So the salt cell will go on the return water, so the filtered water out of the pump returning to the pool. So we're going to cut here and cut around here so the injection manifold can be installed as well. So that's how it's going to look, look by the end once we've installed the injection and the salt cell. So I'll cut the pipe now. Turn water line, so now we can install the salt cell. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a joiner, glue and prime one end of the, of the joiner, and install it onto the return water line. The next thing is to glue the end of our salt cell inside our joiner and insert the, the cell. Alright, next step is to install our ozone swim injection manifold and to do so is the first thing we have to do is install another joiner on the bottom of our 50 mil on our salt cell a small spacer for the 50 mil to go in between the joiner and the injection manifold coupling install that using glue and primer on both ends and then we have our injection manifold installed and back to, back to pull. So that's, we recommend using glue and primer on all, all, fit, all, all pipe fittings. So now what we want to do once we've got to that stage is get our Teflon tubing. There's a one way check valve so it has our Venturi end sticker on one of the sides so that actually goes to the Venturi end. So we screw that on and nip that up with a shifter Just, they don't need to be over tightened and the other one goes to the control unit they are compression fittings so we don't need thread tape on the threads and just nip that top one up with your shifter as well next point to do is to ensure you install your leads making sure they're crimped and nice and tight once they're installed and that is the installation of the ozone swim combination unit 1, 2, 3000 series so you have the control unit you have the salt cell and you have the injection manifold a pump lead then plugs straight into the bottom of our control unit and the control unit is then plugged into the power. We have a timer, our salt production, and on and off for our sanitation and purification of the ozone unit. Well, thanks, hopefully you have good installation with your next ozone swim. The other thing I'll quickly show you is if you have a 40 mil return line, 40 mil can go straight into the cell, and then we have a, a bush on each either side of the injection manifold that you can bush. So that's how you do it if you had a 40mm return line. Thank you.